back, man. This one fucking took the heart out of me. Okay, Raz, last limit 10k of the summer. Um, game that I've had not very good luck in uh, over the years. But Phil has, and I spent a couple hours on the phone last night talking. Different strategy, how to play the game. Now, you know, you gotta catch cars, I mean, it doesn't matter, but couple things that, that I'm going to put in my repertoire that he that I was doing different that I'm going to do today and um, we'll see how that goes not to be negative or anything but if we don't do any good in the Raz we have a really good 5k no limit tournament tomorrow and then they have a really tough six max 10k no limit. So um, yeah, those are my last three. There's also a 1k turbo. Uh, there's eight days left, so you know, we could go win the Raz, and we'll have. We basically, hopefully, of the nine tournaments left in eight days, that we only play two. Because if we only play two, that means that uh, we've done really well. It's been a tough summer. I'm not going to lie. It's been a tough summer. Uh, like I said, I hated the way I went broke in the Hall of Fame tournament late. But that was... Uh, on me. Uh, I was tired. And, uh, I, I hate that way worse than that way. I hate the way I went broke in the main. I still like my main, my hand in the main. I mean, when you put somebody in a spot where some nit who, had, who never puts chips in a pot, three, three bets on a paired board with a flush out there for his whole tournament, and you know the guy's got a small flush. And you know he's a pro. I mean, I, I'm in shock that it actually uh, he called. I wouldn't have made the play if I didn't think I'd win it. So, uh, that's the first time I've ever three bet bluff the river in a main event. So, it is what it is. All right, let's get us a ticket. Can you take Locked. one of me my I'm sorry. Sure. <laughs> my, my tickets are falling okay. on the floor. Dude. <laughs> All right. Good luck, guys. Pleasure to meet you. Good luck. Yeah. What are you playing, Mike? 10K Raz. Get up, Mike. And then if worse comes to worst, I'll play the 5K eight, eight-handed, hold them tomorrow, and Double then the 10K max. six max is going to be a real fucking bummer. You got this, dude. Let's go. Whatever. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. Oh, 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 grab you right after about five minutes left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I can't see. I got you. I understand. I'm just in this one right now. Just, I just looked at me. All right. <laughs> one twenty two three. Put that right there. That's for me. I'll be back. Nice bluff. It was good, anybody, right? I don't care what anybody says. It was good. There's I, no way he could call. There, I, I can never bad. be. It, I, I can never be fucking bluffing. I mean, I can never. It's just I put myself in a, a spot where. Like, I prefer you to have a different combo. Right. But I like the line that you took. I knew he had a small you flush. You took it in. Yeah. And. GG, my friend. It sucks Thanks, that if he has like a little more chips, he's full. I don't think the chips really regardless, matter. Regardless if he's folding or not, I don't care about the result. Or if you have yeah. a little more chips, I like yeah. the line you took. In the node you took it in? And the sizing I took it in. I took the sizing as the same sizing I did when I had the quads. 
and when I had the trips. So, yeah, so that's kind of irrelevant. Right, 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 right. We're, right, just, right. we're just talking about in game at game speed yeah, yeah, at yeah. the node you took it in and I took a lot of time it wasn't like I rushed it I counted my chips I said again that's all exploitative yeah, yeah, shit right? Yeah, right right I'm talking about just theoretical right. sound poker I like the bluff yeah good for you for executing it yeah especially on the stage that you did it in yeah you know because I feel like I'm happy with it three years ago that mic wouldn't even have fucking thought about it no no you know, and so for you to take that line, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Good bro. for you. I appreciate it, man. You know, that's... Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, MJ. Okay, so uh, we have about four hours left in the night. Uh, wasted hours. I have 64K. I was down as low as, like, 29. I had the worst table in the room. We had one bad player at our table, and they high-carded him off. Okay, last break of the night in Raz. What's up, John? Um... Fucking, we just lost a big pot. We finally got chips. I raised it with an eight up with an ace six in the hole. There was ace six eight on the board. And um, I got called by a 10. And uh, I couldn't beat a. I had a nine made on six. She had a nine made on six. And I bricked off. I lose a uh, five, ten. I lose a. Uh, 15, I was, I was up to 90,000. So anyways, we got 73 with the last two levels of the night, which is all that really matters anyhow. We're 3 and 6,000. 10 big bets. We just need to win pods, that's all. Who knows? We'll see. Playing really, really good today. Uh, I don't feel I made any mistakes. The pots I won, two of the three pots I won were defending with a king and a queen with ace three in the hole. So anyways, let's hope to have a good last level and come back tomorrow. Talk to you later. And the Nightmare fucking World Series of Poker continues. 73,000 at the last break after we had 80. We had like 90 and we had a 10 draw against a fucking 6 draw. I told you about that. It got us down to 73 right away. And uh, we come back and uh, Julian Martini raises the steal position with a 5. I have fucking 5, 6, 9. Uh, 9 up. There's a fucking two sixes, two nines out. I call. The other nine calls. He catch. I, I felt he, he didn't have much. He catches an ace. I catch a fucking seven. Uh, he bets. I call. Then I make a fucking nine right away on five. And he had, catches a queen. And uh, I bet. The nine deuce calls and Julian Martini raises it with ace five queen. I call and he hits a seven. I hit a seven and there was no five, and there was another seven out. Uh, he can't help it and he had rolled up fives. Like he literally fucking raised two people with rolled up fives on five. I lose uh, over forty, almost forty thousand in this pot. Lose 18,005. I re raised to get the other nine out. And, um, and, uh, what was it, 6,000? I lose 30,000 in my hand. And I get to a new table with 30,000. I just sit there and I grind 30 all the way. Finally, I got like 21,000. I start do 7, 8. I catch, uh, a nine, he catches a paint. Then he catches a six, and I catch a fucking queen. And I call right here. Now I catch a fucking ace, and he catches a king, or pairs his kings. And so I bet 6,000 with 1,000 left, and then I just bet 1,000 in the dark. I mean, what am I gonna do? And he squeezes, and he says, you're dead, Mike. And he makes a six. I, I don't even understand how I run in this fucking Raz. How could he bluff two people and raise fucking five with rolled up fives? I won three pots in nine hours. Two of them was defending a king and a queen. And then I won one hand where I made a fucking a nine against David Baker, who had some dog shit hand and he had me beat on six. This is the most ridiculous shit. Every fucking tournament I lose get knocked out of with 17, 20 minutes to go into the fucking life. Every fucking day. Fucking stupid.
stupid ass bullshit limit tournaments. I fucking hate them.